Hello all my hello blue havers, it is me, your favorite chaotic day, August, bringing you a weekend vlog. I say that loosely because um, I'm making this intro and stuff on Friday. I'm going to film for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, but I'm working Saturday, Sunday. Monday is my day off, so it's like a weekend vlog, kind of, sort of, because it captures the weekend and then my day off. The reason I'm vlogging this is because I have a very exciting thing happening. We are getting our first Blue Apron box, which, um, like, it's not a sponsor or anything. I just want to vlog how it goes because part of this channel is me vlogging my experiences um, for myself to look back on. And me, my boyfriend, and a roommate made the executive decision to just buy a Blue Apron box. Um, because I'm spending quite a bit on groceries. Groceries are getting super expensive. And, um, Blue Apron is essentially a food subs a subscription box where you select meals for the week and then they send you the meals in a box complete with everything you need and a recipe how to make them. Um, so it's guaranteed meals rather than us going to the store and trying to think of meals. Um, so we're weekly, we're going to get a food subscription box sent to our house. It's going to cut back on grocery shopping a lot. It's also going to give us more guaranteed meals. Um. So it's supposed to be coming Saturday, and then after that it's going to be coming every single Saturday. I really love Blue Apron because we looked into HelloFresh, and HelloFresh is like the one you hear about. It's super expensive though, and like I think not quite as versatile. Like with Blue Apron, you can choose the day your box gets delivered on, and so if you want it delivered on Saturdays, it'll be delivered on Saturdays. If you want it delivered on Tuesdays, it'll be delivered on Tuesdays. Um, Blue Apron also has like... 30 plus selections to choose from weekly for like meals there are so many add-ons like there are brunch lunch add-ons there are wine add-ons if you want to add wine to your meals for a special occasion like there are so many things um that are just so neat about this box like the way you can just customize it and make it right for you and your situation Okay guys, it's Sunday, getting ready to go to work, um, we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, it's Monday. Um, I'm getting ready to do, to do dishes, so I'm putting away all the clean dishes so I can wash the dirty dishes so my boyfriend can cook a very yummy blue apron meal. Um, so I'm going to do that and if I'm being honest, I just need to vent a little bit so as I'm doing this, I'm gonna vent to y'all. So y'all, I love my workplace, don't get me wrong. I love the environment, I love the like people I work with, I love the fact that I work with animals, like everything about it is like fortunate for me, don't get me wrong, but like the new people that are coming on 
are just fucking ruining the situation. Like, I was tight with a bunch of my coworkers. Like, we had a good relationship. And, like, I loved seeing all the regulars, all the animals and stuff. But, like, the new people are just bringing the entire fucking environment down. Like, these bitches be coming in from college starting drama with their college bullshit like two of our coworkers apparently dated sometime over their college year and we didn't even know it so now they're bringing this like broken up ex drama into our fucking work and i'm not here for it right now um not to mention there's another girl who just got hired on and she like she keeps bitching about the work because she's like i hate retail of any kind and i was like well i like this it's fun like our coworkers are fun we have each other's back so if like a karen comes in literally if a karen comes in our boss is not afraid to tell her to like go fuck herself so like i know all my coworkers have my back and i have a great relationship with all my coworkers. so like why why are you bitching like this is a good job this is a good situation to be in. Like, it is one of the best retail jobs I have ever worked personally. And if you're gonna sit here and shit on it and talk about not wanting to be here, then quit, go find something else. Like, she keeps saying, I can find other jobs, like, I'm applying to other jobs, then be gone. Like, don't keep bringing it down and keep bitching and complaining, okay? Like, I don't want that in my life. So, like, I'm kind of getting upset about my job and I'm just I'm hoping it writes itself like my boss is on top of the relationship drama between the two exes he's already like shutting that down before it can even become too much of an issue and I'm hoping that the other girl because she's dissatisfied just gets the fuck out of there because we don't need her there we don't need her negativity but like it's just been a lot recently and I don't know why but it's been really irking me and it's making me upset that my work is bringing these kind of people in because we already had a good situation. Why are you bringing all these new people in that are bringing the fucking drama? Dishes are done so my boyfriend can make another yummy Blue Apron meal when he gets home. If I'm being honest, like I cannot rave about Blue Apron enough. It is a great like food service. It is customizable. The meals are delicious. Literally, we have not had a bad meal yet. They are amazing meals, great flavor profiles. Um, it's easily customizable depending on you and your family's needs. There are so many add-ons and it delivers right to your door. Everything is fresh and amazing. So if it's feasible for you to do Blue Apron, I 110% would. Especially if you've looked into HelloFresh and found it too expensive, Blue Apron is much more affordable. In other news, I've given up on Reading Lore by Alexandra Bracken. As you saw, I was listening to it while I was doing dishes. I've been listening to it for like the past week and I'm only like 45% of the way through on the audiobook. I'm just not interested. I'm finding like I have to force myself to pick it up. I don't care about the characters, so I'm gonna DNF it. Like, I literally have given it every single chance I can. <laughs> 